These are the top stories of the week. Apple's semi-boring announcements, Microsoft's not boring announcements, and everything else you need to know. Apple held its Worldwide Developers Conference and introduced iOS 10. The biggest news is that Siri will be opened up to developers. Only certain apps will be able to use Siri. Apple Music got a huge redesign and it looks like an improvement compared to the mess that preceded it. Then there's Apple's new smart home app called Home. It lets you control all of your HomeKit enabled devices in one place. The Apple Watch will soon get Watch OS 3. Apps will load much faster, so no more waiting. Watch OS seems to borrow from iOS as well. A slide gesture from the bottom of the watch brings up a new control center. The Apple TV will get a pretty cool feature called Single Sign-On. Apps that let you watch cable networks usually need you to sign in with each app. With Single Sign-On, you input your information once in tvOS and it will handle the rest. The rumors are true, OS 10 was rebranded Mac OS which is one letter away from the word tacos, everybody, just one letter. Anyway, the newest version is called Mac OS Sierra, which gets Siri support. Also, Mac OS Sierra can use the Apple Watch to unlock a Mac and use an iPhone to use Apple Pay on the web. All of those updates are coming in the fall. Over at E3, Microsoft announced two new Xboxes. First up is the Xbox One S. It's 40% smaller than the original Xbox One. It's capable of 4K video playback and supports HDR. That means some pretty video. The Xbox One S has an integrated power supply, so no more giant power brick in your home theater. A two terabyte version will ship in August for $399. A $299 model with 500 gigabytes of space will ship later this year. The second Xbox announced is known as Project Scorpio, which will arrive late in 2017. Microsoft says it will have the most powerful GPU ever put in a game console. It'll support 4K gaming, and virtual reality. Microsoft also announced the Xbox Play Anywhere initiative. You buy a game labeled Xbox Play Anywhere and you'll get the Xbox and Windows 10 version of the game for no extra cost. On top of that, gameplay syncs up. You can start on the Xbox and continue on a Windows machine. Microsoft was really busy. Before it announced any of that Xbox stuff, it announced it's buying the social network LinkedIn. It's an all cash deal where Microsoft will pay $196 per share. LinkedIn CEO will remain, but he now reports to Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. LinkedIn will remain a separate entity. So why did Microsoft buy LinkedIn? Microsoft has a few ideas. How about if Cortana could give you information about a business meeting using LinkedIn data? Microsoft also sees LinkedIn working well with Office 365 and its advertising business. Let's go rapid fire, shall we? There's more to cover. A US court says the FCC's categorization of broadband as a utility was totally legal. That means net neutrality is safe in the US, for now. Beijing's intellectual property office has ordered Apple and others to stop selling the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus in the city. The order is due to another company owning an exterior design patent. Apple has appealed. And Sony announced its PlayStation VR headset will launch in the best month of all, October, and will cost $399. Sony says the headset will support 50 games by the end of 2016. Now you're all caught up in tech. To get your daily dose of tech news, check out CNET.com slash update. For a weekly dose, hit up CNET.com slash radar. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.